Look what I've done while you're gone. Boom. Made all of this. Look at it. I'm kidding, obviously. Like, this is the actual Reddit. We're still here. <laughs> it's still at welcome to Next.js. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can fix this. We can actually make it look like this. Obviously, it goes without saying that we're not going to make this um, trending sections and all, a bunch of like this side stuff. Um, you can actually go ahead and do that. Like you can, you know, extend on the actual features that we're going to do in this series and send me like a GitHub link. I would like to feature some of these. If I find a really cool one, I could even like make a video and like talk about it. Before we get going, I would like to ask you to like this video right now. And if you haven't done so yet, please do make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll give you a second to do it. Thank you. All right, so what we need to start with is, uh, let's actually start with the navbar. So let's go ahead, let's go back to our editor. So let's go to our client, uh, source, pages. So we're gonna start to work on the index page now, it's the home page. So I'm gonna remove everything. So remove everything down to here, along with this footer. I'm gonna remove this uh, image. And here, instead of create React app, we're gonna say, uh, so Reddit, and this, uh, what does this say actually? The front page to the internet, or of the internet. Okay, cool. So let's say, oops, Reddit, the front page of the internet. Cool. So what do we have under? So first we're gonna have, so this, we're gonna have it as a div and it's gonna be fixed at the top because uh, it is on the actual Reddit and uh, it needs to be all take all the width and have a certain height and have these elements inside of it. So let's create that. Of course, we're gonna put it in, a, in its own component later, but for now, let's just work with it uh, here. So we have a div. So we can use the fixed class to fix it um, to fix it in its position, which is going to be the top. And we're going to use a class called inset uh, dash x dash zero. So what this does is uh, it kind of like uh, sets the top to zero and then uh, right and left to zero as well. So it kind of stretches it uh, to take all the width. And we're going to say top dash zero. So it will have a top of zero. So it's at the top all the time. And I'm going to give it a Z-10, which is controlling the Z index, just in case if there's other content and it doesn't go, it wouldn't go above it. So it will be just below it. I don't know why I switched there, like I'm going to demonstrate something. But actually, wait, I can demonstrate something. So if, as you scroll, there we go. So you see it's, uh, it's on top of the rest. So you can use Z index for that. Or Z index if you're in America. So Z-10. And uh, so I'm going to give it a class of flex as well. So we're going to have some stuff inside that needs to be uh, controlled with Flexbox. And I'm going to add uh, as well items dash center to center everything in the middle vertically and do the same for uh, horizontally. So justify uh, center. So and we give it a fixed height. So let's do dot H dash 12 and do tab. And now we're going to have three things. So we're going to have the uh, let's call this logo. And uh, what is this? And title, I guess. And then we're gonna have that search bar. So search, uh, or is it? An, it's an input. So we'll say search input. And then we're gonna have the login and uh, sign um, sign up buttons. So auth buttons, basically. All right. Let's start with the logo and the title. For this, I already prepared a link. So this will be this one. This massive SVG of a Reddit logo. So let's actually save this to our project. So save image. Uh, what is the project? So in the desktop, go to Reddit, uh, client, source. I'm actually going to create a new folder here. So let's call this images and check our image in there. And I'm going to call it uh, Reddit, like the normal Reddit. So it doesn't get confusing. All right. So actually to use SVGs inside of Next, we need to install a, uh, a webpack loader. So is this uh, at SVGR slash webpack. So let's actually just copy this. And let's open our, uh, I already opened the uh, terminal. So I'm going to open a new tab and then uh, actually not here. So inside the client, so CD client and paste that in and let that install. And we need to configure it. And I have this, I already have it here. So here we need to uh, add this to our next config uh, file. We don't have one yet, so we can just create it. So just copy this. I'll have this link in the description for you to access. 
So let's go to our uh, file explorer. So inside of our client, in the root of our um, client, we're going to say new file next.config.js and paste that in and save. So this basically does, it tells Webpack that any file that is ending with .svg, load it and then uh, test and find it inside of JS or TS or TSX files. So, and then uh, Webpack will handle loading SVGs. So cool, so now we can actually put this SVG inside of our page. So let's import it here at the top, we'll say import, uh, we'll call it Reddit logo, logo from, we go back one directory inside of images slash Reddit dot SVG. So here we can put it uh, there in the navbar and I'm actually gonna wrap it in a div dot flex dot items center. Let me close this. And here uh, actually it's gonna be a link. So let's say link href and this will link to the home page. So if you, look, if you click on it you're on, you're on a different page, it takes you back to the home. Uh, let's import this from uh, next link. Okay, that's imported, but let me actually move it a bit there. Cool. So I don't know why this has a squiggly. Um, uh, declare this value never read. Oh, okay, I just didn't use it. <laughs> okay, so here we need an anchor tag, and inside the anchor tag, let's put that Reddit logo. So Reddit logo, and let's give it some uh, some size. So we'll say width of eight, and the same for height. So height dash eight, and let's give it some margin on the right. So mr dash two and close that tag and then uh, next to it so we have uh, if we can see at the actual on the actual reddit we have the reddit logo and then reddit next to it so we need to have this as a link so here we you put another link or actually let's wrap it with the text first so let's do a span and uh, give this a class name of text dash to excel to make it a bit bigger and uh, give it some thicker font weight so font semi bold and inside of here we'll have our link and say link href to just slash and this will say reddit like that all right let's save and let's take a look at it all right okay so no 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 probably loader we do have the loader so maybe i just need to restart the server um let me close this uh close the server and run it again even though there is a red squiggly here again so can okay. i Okay, we need to create like um, kind of a custom type so that the TS doesn't um, doesn't complain about SVG types. So let's actually go to the root of our uh, folder of our client and let's create a new file. Call it svg.d.ts, which is kind of like a module declaration file. So here we'll say declare module, ooh, module, and then here this will be star dot svg so any file that is of an svg uh, extension and here we'll say const content of type any uh, any and then here we'll say export default content don't worry about this too much it's just going to remove that squiggly all right cool so that squiggly is gone and now our server has started so let's take a look at it let's refresh or reload rather cool so we get our navbar and we get our logo and it's in the middle. Actually, let's give our navbar a color so that it stands out. Or actually, no, I think the yeah, the navbar has a background of white, but the body it has a background that's kind of like this slight gray. So let me actually get this gray. So I'm using this extension called Colorzilla and it's actually a color picker, that's it. So let's pick this color in the background. So that's copied. And uh, so let's give it to our actual background. So this is the body, so let's go uh, we need to go inside of our document, document.tsx, and let's give the actual uh, body here. So let's just do an inline style it's because we don't need to access this anywhere else. So let's say style equals uh, background uh, color, and this will be that color that we just copied. So paste that in and save. Okay, did it change? Okay, so now it changed. So now we're going to give a BG white to our navbar. So let's go back to our index. And here, so so here, let's add bg dash white for our index. Uh, not the index, sorry, the um, the navbar. All right, cool. So that looks much better, and it's exactly the same height. Um, so let's put. So this is gonna go to the left once we add uh, other stuff. So we're gonna add now the input, 
And by the way, this has this red but, uh, dot here, but this actually is an SVG if you inspect it. But of obviously we're not gonna go that far to make it look exactly like that. I'm fine with this. So let's add that search um, input. So here, tab over, I'm gonna add another div with a class of flex, with a class of items center. And then I'm gonna give it MX auto, so that it puts like um, space between the right and the left element to it. And I'm gonna give it uh, some border. I'm also gonna give it the class of rounded because everything is rounded inside of Reddit. And uh, here, let's just tab. And actually for this, so for this um, kind of like search, what is this, like a lens icon, we're gonna use font awesome. So which is gonna give us like a couple of other icons like this text one and the share one and uh, some other stuff as well. So I'm gonna grab it with CDN.js. So let's go to, so let's say CDN.js font awesome. All right, let's go there. Let's grab this all.min.css, copy, not URL, copy link tag. And actually let's go back to our document and under where we get to the font here, let's paste that. And because this is JSX here, we need to say cross origin with like a camel case, save that. And now we can access all the icons from uh, Font Awesome. So actually, what is that icon? Uh, let me go Font Awesome, all right? Let's search for search for search. Um, it's actually search. All right, I should have just just tried it. Okay, whatever. F a uh, F a s F a search. So just copy that inside of here, paste that. So now we have that, and this should be class name. And right next to that, we need to put the input. So we'll say input, and uh, this will have a couple of classes, obviously. And uh, we'll have, so we needed to have some padding. So we'll say uh, padding py1, so top and bottom. And then we'll have more padding on the right as well. So pr3, and I'll give it rounded so that it doesn't kind of like come outside of the parent div. And just save, and let's have a look at it. So let's go back. Okay, this looks, where's the icon? Is the icon even here? Okay, now it is, I had to refresh. All right, cool, so the icon, we need to change the color and it needs to be aligned in the center. So let's go back. Okay, so this needs to be item center, not item. And the icon, let's add a uh, text gray, um, let's say 500, yeah, 500 is good. And let's give it some uh, padding because right now, you see the text, like the cursor is right next to it. So let's give it some padding on the right and the left. If you look on the actual Reddit, it actually has more padding on the left than on the right. So I guess the values, so here we'll say, uh, so padding left, so PL-4 and then PR-3. Save that. And also for this input, let's make it not have this uh, ugly black white line, um, not white line, outline and uh, once it's uh, focused. So we'll say when it's focused, so focus, colon, outline, none, and save. All right, that's looking a bit better. Now let's give it a uh, gray background. And also when it's hovered, it needs to have like a white background and also a blue border. So let's go back. And also we need to give it some, uh, some width. And uh, for this, actually, I already have like a width prepared. And uh, we're going to need to use it for other places. So I'm going to add it to the Tailwind config. So let's go to tailwindconfig.js. And here this will be uh, 160. And this calculates to 40 rem. And we're going to use this for our input. So actually not here. Let's go back to our index. So here for our input, let's give it that width. So W-160. And also, uh, what did we need to add? Um, yeah, the background. So here, actually, we're going to give it to the wrapping div. So we'll say BG gray, gray uh, 100, save that. All right, so we get the BG gray and we need to give, actually, we can either give uh, our input the same background or we can give it BG transparent. So the color can be controlled just by changing the wrapper div color. So well, let's go to our input and just say BG dash transparent, save that. All right, that looks much better. And now our wrapping div, uh, when it's uh, hovered, so we'll say hover, colon, we'll say uh, border, blue, 500, and also hover, colon, uh, we'll have BG white. So save. 
All right, there we go. So it's almost the same now as the Reddit one. So as we hover, it becomes blue, I mean like border blue and also background of white. Cool. So let's add those uh, buttons on the side. Now I couldn't find a way that is like simple to make them into like a, into their own like React component, but uh, there is another way which is uh, kind of like simpler, which is to use CSS. And also we need to style like in case the button is disabled and other like pseudo uh, class selectors, which we can't do. I mean we can, but it will be a hassle. We need something like CSS in JS or whatever. So let's just use uh, let's go to our CSS which is, where is it? I don't know why I can't see it here. Okay, let's go to the Explorer. So here we got styles. Actually, it doesn't make sense for it to be global. Let's just call this tailwind.css. And we don't need this home.module.css anymore, so we can just remove it. And let's go to our app TSX and update this. And this will be tailwind.css. And this needs to be a bit down. Cool, so save that and nothing should have changed. And let's go now to our tailwind CSS. And here we can put, uh, it's better to put everything inside of the components layer. So let's say at layer components. And here, so it's gonna be kind of like uh, in Bootstrap, but obviously this is way more customized. We're gonna create a generic button class and then that will have like some generic styles and then it depend on the color, we're gonna give it some color, etc. So what we can say, we can say uh, dot uh, button. So we'll have our uh, class is gonna be called button. And now to give it any style from Tailwind, we need to say, uh, use the directive at apply and now pass it any styling that we want to apply to it. Uh, I need to apply to it. Uh, I know we need gonna need inline block for some like use cases where it kind of like goes to the next line and uh, we're gonna give it text excess. I've already like, uh, like uh, written this down. Uh, I've seen the button on Reddit and what kind of like styles that it has. So we need font bold as well and let's give it text center and also uppercase because all the uh, text on reddit buttons is all uppercase so border and give it rounded as well by the way border always gives it like a border radius oh, there we go of one one pixel not border radius rather border width like the thickness of the border so this is the class itself and uh, we're gonna have two stars of buttons so we're gonna have this uh, filled button, which is kind of the default, and we're gonna have this outline button. So I'm gonna call it hollow, because it makes more sense. <laughs> so because it, technically they're both outlined, it's just this one is hollow and this one is full inside. <laughs> so I got the semantics. So actually let's do first the, like the blue button, which uh, right now we just have blue buttons. So this will be dot button that has also the class of blue. So obviously when you do stuff like this, you need to make sure that these classes don't conflict with anything in Tailwind itself. You're not gonna go here and kind of say, I don't know, font bold and do something. And in this case, we know that there is no button and there's no blue class, so we can use them for our own uh, stylings. So here let's say add apply and we'll apply a text of white. So text white and BG BG blue dash 500 and also the same color for the border. So border blue 500. And now when this is hovered, it turns a bit lighter. So let's do that. So um, like unlike where you have inside the, uh, the actual markup, you do hover colon. You can't do that here, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't know, maybe probably like this makes more sense. So I'm just gonna follow that convention. So here we'll say, so here we'll say dot button dot blue and then do colon hover. Actually semantically it makes more sense in CSS. So what we need to change when it's hovered is just BG, BG blue now 300, which is a bit lighter and also the same for border. So border dash blue dash 300. Let's do the other button, which will be the hollow button, which we just add another class on top of it. So here let's paste that and say dot button dot blue dot hollow. So this will actually have a text of blue 500. And now the border will be, uh, actually the border is the same, but the background is transparent. So here we'll say transparent. And then copy this over one more time. And this will be when it's hovered. So colon hover, this, to, this will have a text. So text of blue 300 and border blue 
300. Wait, actually, no, this is the same as this. So this is redundant. So we can just remove this. Cool. So save this. And now let's go back to our index DSX. Let's add those buttons. So here, um, we're gonna have we're gonna wrap them in a div. So div.flex. And here we'll have our first. So this will be wrapped with a link because they are links essentially. And here we'll say href. So the first one will be yeah, the login one. So href slash login. And inside of there, we're going to have our anchor tag. And now we're going to use those class names. So class name, and this will be button. Actually, let's put them in a, an order that makes sense. So this will be the uh, hollow button, right? So we'll say hollow blue button. Look at that. That makes sense, no? Hollow blue button. <laughs> and uh, let's, uh, let's close this. Close this. Let's close the opening tag. And inside, it will say log in. Log in, and then we're going to have another one. So duplicate this, and this will be to slash register. And this will actually just be a blue button, not the hollow one. And inside it will say uh, sign up, save, and let's have a look at it. Let's go to our website, refresh. Okay, there's a problem. open. Okay, something is importing that, uh, that module.css. It's probably this page. Yeah, so let's just remove that. Uh, remove this class name here because that doesn't exist anymore. Move, cool, save that. Let's go back. All right, so we get our buttons, but they are tiny. They have no um, no padding or anything. So um, I know that these have like um, a width that is equivalent of width 30, uh, 32. So let's add that. So I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna click here with Alt, like holding Alt and say W, dash 32 and let's give them some padding so uh, pad actually we just give them padding on the top and bottom so py uh, py1 because the width is fixed and we don't need padding on the right and left so let's save let's look at them all right so let's give this uh, the left one some margin on the right so here we'll say uh, mr dash 2 save that um let's give it maybe mr5 or 4 all right, that looks better. And actually, the entire navbar needs to have some uh, some padding on the right and left. So that would be, yeah, that would be the uh, this one here. So let's say px-5, oh, 5. Save that. All right, that looks much, much better. And it's almost almost the same, but um, okay, we need, actually, we need um, a placeholder for our input. So let's go to our input here. So let's say place holder equals search cool and also uh, these buttons need to be a bit uh, higher or not the higher like um, taller so actually we can just use um, line height and control it uh, let's look at the documentation search for line height um, not here uh, line yeah line height yeah we need to use these leading leading classes so let's try let's try leading four. So for our buttons, both of them, so hold Alt and uh, actually no, hold Alt and click here and here and say leading dash four, save that. Let's look at them. Okay, maybe let's give leading five. Leading five, save. All right, that looks kind of almost the same height. All right, cool. So the navbar is like almost like identical. So and if we click obviously on the buttons, Okay, they take us there, but I just realized that because we changed the body color, like the background of the body, it changed as well in the login and the register pages. So we can fix that by, let's go to our login page. So here for this div where it says flex here, let's add uh, bg-white and then do the same for the register. So here in the register here, add bg-white. And now that is fixed and the same thing goes for the login. Cool. Let's actually um, extract it into its own component and then uh, use it in the app.js or app.tsx. Actually not here, let's go to our index. So here, I grab all of this div up to here, cut all of it. And let's go in our components and create a new file, call it navbar.tsx. And here let's say export or actually const navbar of type react dot 
functional component and this will just return actually we can just do uh, parentheses and then do that and obviously we need link so let's say import from next slash link we need link and we also need the reddit logo so let's say import reddit logo from we go back one level to images slash reddit dot svg Cool, so save that. And here in the index, actually, we don't need those two imports anymore, so we can remove them. And let's go to our app.tsx. So here, depending on our page, we return that component, but let's just add on top of it the navbar. So let's import it. So here we can say import navbar from, uh, we go back one level to components slash navbar. And here uh, we can wrap them in a fragment uh, so that it uh, we can have just one child so fragment and uh, that's imported from oh it's right here actually this needs to be up there uh, from react and inside the fragment we're just going to put our component and on top of that we're just going to put the uh, navbar navbar like that so save all right why is this complaining i don't know it has no default export oh yeah okay my bad i forgot to export this so here that navbar here we can say export default nav bar save and let's check we don't have any errors cool we don't let's check out our app cool so obviously we get the same <laughs> the same effect so now the nav bar will be uh, on top of every page so okay i just realized the nav bar cannot be in the uh, the login and the register forgot about that uh, that's easy so what we can do we can just check if we're in the login or reg register pages we don't render this Otherwise, we do render the navbar. So let's go back to our apptsx. So apptsx here. We can actually use the router and get uh, where we are from the router. So here on the top, we're going to say uh, import from uh, next slash router. We need to import the use router hook. And uh, here we'll say const destructure something from use router. And uh, does that give me suggestions? Yes. So that will be, yeah, that will be path name. So path name, and uh, we can do some simple logic here. We'll say, um, so const, we're gonna store it in a variable, uh, auth route, uh, not router, route equals. So if path name, path name uh, equals slash register, or path name, equals slash login or actually this is this works but if you want to extend it it becomes a bit awkward and you are just like other or statements so i can do what we can do we can say const auth routes equals routes equals an array and this will have slash register register and also slash um slash login and now what we can say we can simply say if uh, auth routes dot includes not index includes path name so if path name is one of these then we are in an auth route so and this returns a boolean so we can just leave the statement like that so if this is true that means we are in an auth route uh, otherwise we're not in an auth route and show the navbar so here the navbar we can just uh, wrap it in a uh, expression and say um, auth route so if auth route uh, render the navbar actually no if not auth route render the navbar so if we're not in the auth route render the navbar so okay let's check it out all right so this is a home page we get the navbar but if we go to slash login cool we don't get the navbar and the same thing goes for uh, sign up or register nice all right so that's the navbar part I know like it looks like we just did this top bit but trust me this I mean come on this is just one component once you finish just this one all of these are the same obviously we're not doing images for posts but you can do that I'll show you how to upload images and that will give you kind of like the starting thread to do that all right so that's it for this video please do make sure to like it again and uh, subscribe if you haven't and I will catch you in the next one cheers